Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. You're so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. I'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. And yeah, lure one out of the kitchen, probably. And let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. I wonder if they host weddings. Oh, yeah, they're a full-service site. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, black market auctions. This skate wasn't on the blueprint. Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. There you go. I see some fence up there. Nathan, go check this out. Here we go. Let there be light. Got electrical in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a... F yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Hey, uh, she'll be worried that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross. I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. Hey, look, the vents. That's our way out. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding a lighter. I'm holding a lighter.
Okay, up we go. Right there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? <laughs> and a lot more dusty. Shh, shh, shh. Damn it. Waiters. And Baldy looks like my size, too. There's no shortage of waiters around here. Fresh air, here we come. Hey, check this out. You see that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? Whatever, listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, it must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. Bingo. Found the kitchen. And of course it's locked. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that to find a window, drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Got it? Heads up, heads up. <laughs> Buona sera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Okay, let's get to the power room. Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. All right, I'm gonna head back to the ballroom. <laughs> Sam, you there? Sam? Sully? Great. Oh, shit! 